hope y'all enjoyed the previous video and everything but today's a new day today's thursday and uh man enjoy today's video y'all want to thank everybody once again <clears throat> all the new subscribers all the old subscribers we are less than 3,000 subscribers away from hitting that 20K mark, y'all. So make sure y'all slide through, tap in, hit that subscribe button, hit that comment section, hit that like button, hit that share button, man. Thank you, guys. This shit is crazy. Still crazy. And um, it was a slow week this week, but the numbers is, is still up there. And the subscriber numbers is going up. So, you know, I'm not complaining. I'm just going to roll with the flow. Still continue to be consistent, dedicated, and uh, putting in that work like I've been, like I'm usually doing, you guys. So uh, thank you guys once again. And um, enjoy the rest of this video today, y'all. Y'all know. Y'all got to watch all my videos all the way through. And especially if you fuck with a nigga and everything, watch all my videos all the way through. Don't skip over. Don't skip the mads. Y'all know the deal. Anyway, I have all the links down below in the description, man. Especially my social media accounts. And if y'all want to send me some stuff, man, feel free. Down below in the description. Um, uh, I was going to say, I'll see you guys right now in a little bit, man. I got to get going. It's... 1225 my daughter gets out at 1248 so yeah i got some things i need to go do right now and plus i gotta go pick up my oldest daughter y'all this is her favorite truck so yeah she every time i pick her up in this truck y'all she just gets so happy she be like dad you brought my favorite you brought my favorite truck i'm like yeah you asked for it hell you know but hey as long as i make my kids happy that shit makes me happy and that shit right there you know you know what I mean? Keeps me going on a daily basis. So, yeah. Um, thank you. That's all I can say, man. Thank you. I can't thank you guys enough. It's still surreal. Still unbelievable. Never thought I would get to this point. But I made it, y'all. And uh, it's a proven example to everybody watching this video, man. Don't give up. That's all I got to say. Whatever you're doing, don't give up. Stay dedicated and stay consistent. Don't give up. Don't give up. I'm telling you this right now. You would never get to the path that you want to get to if you just sit there and just be a quitter and just give up. Just saying. But I'm glad I never gave up. And I've been through all kinds of obstacles, man. And I never gave up, y'all. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys once again, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, um, enjoy the rest of this video, y'all. Thank you guys very much. Love me or hate me. We violate my other way. There y'all go. Anyway, we up here at the park right now. I see the kids up here playing. But yeah, we up here at the park for a little bit. Let them run around. Let them get tired. And, um... Can you, do you want to film us to go in the slide? I can't. I can't fit in the slide. I'm too big. No, film! Yeah, I got a couple video clips already. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What? Hanging out for a little bit. Letting the kids get tired. Let them run around and everything. And then... Why you drink this? It's not even Oh well, any parent got a problem with it, they should pick up after they damn selves. Yeah, I'm about to dump, dump it out. Yeah, yeah, dude, dump that shit out. And where we got an issue? Yeah, y'all, these parents up here are already tripping on us and shit. You know what I mean? We just up here minding our business, watching our kids and everything. And these parents up here are already tripping, trying to stare, trying to be some freaking Karens, and trying to be some freaking Kevins. And all right, all right, go, go. <laughs> Look at them, y'all. You want to go on what? We're going to swing in a little bit. I'm going to get on the swing. <laughs> for, for the end. Okay, right now, we're going to go we will go to swing right now, y'all, too, man. I'm going to give y'all something to laugh at today, too, as well, man. So make sure y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all hit that share button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, y'all. The kids is up here playing, and go have a good day today, y'all. Go have a good day. And tomorrow's my daughter's last day of school, so probably for the whole summer until she goes back to school. Y'all probably going to be seeing my children more on video and everything because throughout the whole day, I'm going to have to get them out the house to be doing something, you know, to keep them occupied and everything. So, uh, yeah, man. Enjoy the rest of this video. Let's see if my daughter's gonna uh, go off the swing. And once again, y'all, I'm in a public place. I'm at a park, so I can film. I can do whatever the hell I want to do, man. I'm in a public place, so like I said, if anybody got an issue up here, I'm probably gonna tell them to screw off and go screw they so. Yeah, there you go. Hey, there you go. Anyway, see you guys right now when I get on the swing. <laughs> 
Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's dangerous. Somebody gonna fall. I don't like this swing. Y'all wanna see me get on a swing? What? What you? <laughs> oh, y'all part two. Y'all didn't see me get on the swing yet. I'll get on the swing for y'all in a little bit. Don't even worry. Hmm. Look at him. Look at him. Having a good time. Yep, I'm outside today, y'all. I'm outside today. Well, I'm always outside, y'all. My ass ain't never home, but nigga, I'm outside with the kids today. Being a productive human being and being a productive father. <laughs> Hell yeah. My kids gonna know who I am. I don't know about. Um, I don't know about with all this nonsense in today's society and everything. I'm a father to my children, shit. Best blessing ever. All right, y'all, tapping in with the car. Solo Bolo, just got back from the park. Uh, my lady and my kids are at my swagger ass house right now, so uh, my lady told me, well, I'll come get in this thing. That truck take too much gas and that truck eats up too much gas, man. Yeah, not to be complaining, but I'm telling the truth though. That big gas guzzling ass V8 up in that motherfucker, that thing just eats gas. Especially when I turn the air conditioner on. Go, oh, my goodness, it's even worse. But then, I'm not the kind of person to roll my windows down and shit. So I'm always burning my air conditioner in both of these cars, man. As a matter of fact, nigga, AC check, y'all. It's the middle of, uh, it's already, it's already June already, y'all. Y'all better make sure y'all air conditioners is blowing ice cold for this hot, dry ass summer that's soon to come already. Oh, yeah. My AC blow ice cold, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my lady's telling me, too. She told me again today. Oh, it's a hard decision. My lady's telling me to get rid of the truck. She wants something else. She she, she even gave me the options. She said a Charger scat pack, like I, we was talking about. She said another 300, or well, 300 to all y'all Americanized niggas that don't speak no Spanish. Another 300. Um, a Durango or a Jeep Grand Cherokee either of those five choices right there but she's been nagging me lately saying just sell the truck just sell the truck just sell the truck we'll get something else but I, I don't want to let it go y'all I can't do it I can't I've had a lot of people throw some crazy offers good offers like I mean some good offers to where I can eat a little bit off that that amount and stack that shit to the side too you feel me but it's getting the views. It is getting the views on the short video clips, man. This truck get the views on the short video clips. So, you know, I don't want to let it go. You know, it's, it's doing the numbers it's supposed to be doing as far as, like, my YouTube content and everything. I told my lady straight up, like, if that's the case, we'll just add on the third vehicle and just keep adding on and adding on and adding on and adding on until we can't no more. And then we're going to have to let something go and then add on something else, you know? I want to build my collection, man. I don't know about everybody else, but me personally, back when I was in my early 20s, 21 22 23-ish yeah 2021 i had like y'all can't even ask my baby mom she'll tell you we had like four cars <laughs> four cars how many of them fuckers were registered how many of them shit i forgot how many of them were registered i think three were registered yeah three were registered one was a straight G-Ride, no, nigga, no plates, matching, yeah, man, yeah, I had like three of them that were registered, that had tags and all that good shit, one of them, which was another blue expedition, well, it looked like the Navigator, y'all, but it was a Ford expedition, that shit had no plates at all, man, I used to be riding dirty around the town in that motherfucker, all over the place, all over the place, and never got harassed by the police, police used to go right past me, I was like, oh shit, damn, 
But yeah, y'all, I was, I was that nigga back in the day, you know what I mean? But now that I'm older and everything, you know, I make sure when I buy these cars and everything, I'm legit 100%. Insurance registration, all that good stuff and everything, you know, uh, tags up to date and everything, you know what I mean? Cars looking good, looking clean and everything. Because like I said, you guys, if you got a clapped out ass car, missing bumpers, missing lights or whatever, the police is going to fuck with you. You know, so that's why I always keep up the maintenance. I always keep up with shit on my cars. I make sure if I see something like broken or whatever, I get it fixed ASAP because once again, I don't want to deal with the headache. I don't want to deal with the bullshit. You feel me? Of uh, with the law enforcement out here because now what the law enforcement is doing now, if they suspect you of doing any kind of illegal activity with the cars out here, like burnouts and side shows and shit like that, they're they're permanently seizing your car. <laughs> They don't care if the car is financed or paid off. You are losing your car for good. Now, some people are going to argue about this topic. They're going to say that it's unconstitutional. Some people are going to be happy about it because some people are fed up with that shit. You know, I'm not going to get into all that or whatever because I'm not trying to cause a huge debate about it or whatever. But, you know, just for everybody out there, I'm just giving y'all a little heads up. Make sure y'all cars is up to spec, insurance, registration. And if you're into that kind of stuff like I am... <sighs> You know, I like the burnouts. I like, I like seeing that shit at the intersection. I like a lot of y'all. I, I like that shit. But try to take it to the track. Try to. Try to take it to the track or try to take it to a private property. You know what I mean? My opinion. My opinion. If anything, you, you guys that's watching this right now, try to talk to some of these, these people that own these warehouses out here and see what's up. You know what I mean? Because as long as it's on private property and shit, and the, uh, these business owners give the permission to do so or whatever, the police can't say nothing. They can't say nothing. They can't do nothing. It's private property. All they can do is just watch from a distance. Other than that, that's private property. So just a little heads up to everybody out here. Allegedly, they're going to try to pass a law to where if you're caught at any of them takeovers or whatever, spectator or not spectator, they seizing your vehicle, which is really freaking stupid, man, my opinion. My opinion, law enforcement got better things to be doing. They need to go combat this crazy ass crime, high crime rate out here instead of harassing us uh, car people out here and shit. Leave us alone, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the damn day, everybody's getting along out here with the car shit. Nigga, brothers, raza, you know, low riders, you know, must car crews, burnout crews, all that shit. We all getting along with each other. It's, you know what I mean? Ain't nobody fighting each other. Ain't nobody shooting at each other. We all hanging out, chilling. Some people drinking, some people smoking. Whatever it may be, kids is out. You know what I mean? Having a good time, good food, good vibes and all that shit. And it's like law enforcement don't like that stuff. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm just saying. So just a little heads up to everybody out there, man. Be careful and um, just make sure y'all cars is up to date, man. Registration and insurance wise and shit. You know what I mean? That's the least y'all can do to try to keep the police off your tail, even though they still gonna try to fuck with us for something. You know? So, yeah. Other than that, y'all, I gotta get going. This AC is ice cold up in here. You know what I mean? All my cars gotta have AC, y'all. Even if I was to build me a muscle car and shit, nigga, it gotta have AC. You gotta have heat and AC. That's mandatory. Can't be without 200,000 miles, man. And that damn thing got some cold AC in there. So, yeah, man, that's mandatory with me, man. Other than that, y'all, I gotta get going. And uh, time is money. What's good, everybody, man? Gonna show off the car real quick, and um, then I'm gonna talk to you guys inside the car, man. I gotta, gotta speak on it, man. Gotta speak on it. Look at that. Looking good. Looking real good. Yeah, man. This weather's weird, man. Rumors going around that this may be like the coldest summer ever out here in Southern California. Yeah, just saying. Some weird weather, y'all. And it's a beautiful night, man. If y'all look at the background and everything, it's a real beautiful night out here. And a real beautiful carrito out here. You feel me? Hell yeah, man. I came a long way to get to where I'm at. I had a question pop up to me. Oh, in the near future, are you ever planning on getting smaller size wheels? No. I'm happy with the wheels I got. I'm not worried about it if they get damaged because I got a warranty and I can fix, I already know how to fix these wheels myself, especially when it come down to curb rash and all that stuff and everything. I already know how to fix it. I already know how to fix it, that, that's not a problem. 
you know and like i said man i drive everywhere i got good tires on here good try good brand new tires all the way around and um i ain't got nothing to complain about man even the next car that i'm gonna get i'm gonna do wheels and tires on there it is what it is man this is my lifestyle this is what i like to do and this is who i am so um i'm not gonna change up who i am just for just for people just to like me and shit and just for people just to be around me and everything i'm gonna always continue to be myself and i'm always continue to be true to who i am as an individual that's not gonna change and that's not gonna stop so just a little heads up to everybody i'm leaving this car alone like it is yeah, I'm leaving this car alone just like it is. Yep. Hell yeah, man. This thing looking good, dude. I'm proud of myself. I came a long way with this car. This shit wasn't easy either. How are you going to drop? Yeah, anyway. Why are you going to drive next to my shit for it? Man, over there skateboarding but yeah man came a long way came a long way to where i'm at i'll never forget that yeah i don't ever forget that man hell no 10 years ago a lot of people graduated today 2023 i'm class of 2013 so that was like 10 years ago 10 years ago when i graduated from high school and I walked that stage, got my diploma and everything. Right after that day, that's when reality started kicking in. That's when mama started demanding the rent money, bill money, utility money, all that shit. And she made it be known to me 10 years ago at 18. Either your ass gonna get up and go to school or your ass gonna get up and go find a goddamn job somewhere and start making your own damn money. Yeah. It was pretty harsh when I was 18 years old, coming out of high school and everything. It was, it was a very harsh reality check for me. So that's why, as y'all know, I got the mindset that I got and I got the mentality that I have and that go-getter mentality because I don't have nobody to rely on. I don't got nobody to where I could go knock on their door and ask for like a couple hundred dollars for whatever reason may be, y'all. I gotta pick up this camera each and every single day, each and every single night, I gotta pick up that phone and just push hard, go hard, grind hard, all that. You know what I mean? And I don't ever forget that. I think it was a good thing that my mom instilled that in me at the age of 18, fresh out of high school and everything, man. Because who knows where I would be at right now if it wasn't for my mama uh, implementing that in my mindset and everything, you know? No disrespect to the, to the spoon-fed niggas out here and everything, but you know, to all my ones that, that go hard for whatever reason they go hard for, y'all know, y'all can relate to what I'm talking about right now. So, so yeah, man, it's crazy. It's crazy. And then right after that situation, I'm giving y'all like a little story time right now. Right after that, you could say I graduated in June. Three months later, I landed on my first holiday, my first job, and I bought my first car. At the age of 18, it was a raggedy ass, yeah, man. This is like 10 years ago. It was a raggedy ass 2000 Chevrolet Malibu with the notorious 3.6 liter V6. Those things were known for blown up head gaskets, man. So for me to have the cars that I have right now that's running good, haven't blew up on me or nothing like that, man, it's an incredible blessing, man, because back when I was younger and coming up, it wasn't like that for me, you know? Yeah, my mom did promise. My mom did promise to buy me a car after I graduated high school, but it never fell through or whatever. You know, if y'all remember 2012, 2013, you know, those years were pretty tough for a lot of y'all y'all grown folks at that time. You know what I mean? It was still kind of that recession shit going on and everything, like kind of like right now, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man, it's crazy. I came a long way and I got, another, I got a long way to go, man. So that's why I'm shooting for the stars as far as when I talk about I want that Charger Scat Pack and I want that Charger Hellcat. It's because, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, you know, I got, I'm getting it out the mud, baby. 
And this journey started 10 years ago, man. And I got another long ways to go, man. If I can find some pictures of my uh, my first car that I bought 10 years ago in 2013, I will make sure I probably post it in the community section. I believe I do got some old pictures and shit. And I'll make sure I post it up and everything. So, you know, uh, just to everybody out here watching this video and everything, um, never give up on your dreams. Never give up on your goals. Never stop doing what y'all doing out here. Stay dedicated. Stay consistent. And I'll be humble. Uh, this YouTube experience that I'm experiencing right now, how the way my subscribers just shot up out of nowhere, is a very humbling experience. If y'all notice, since my subscriber count shot up like that, if y'all notice my whole attitude, my whole demeanor, my whole, you know what I'm saying, my whole approach and my whole mindset and thought process has changed since, you know, and... The reason for that being is because I'm not trying to lose all my subscribers. I'm not trying to lose the good ratings, the good views, the good shit that I got going on right now. And that's why I don't respond to drama. I don't involve myself in drama. And I just stay out of it. Stay in my own lane. Show off this beautiful ass car that I got here that I worked my ass off to get over a year ago. And to take care of my kids, my lady. And then take care of the people that surround me, man, that's close to me. Who I consider family, you know, so just a little heads up, man. I got a long way to go, y'all. Got a long way to go. My lady wants another 300. Yeah, my lady wants another 300 with the same wheels, but she wants 20s. She's scared of the big rim game, you feel me? But it's nothing to be scared of at the end of the damn day. Let me tell you something about these rims and shit, man. Um, Get some good, decent rims. The chrome rims are not bad. I don't get nothing against chrome rims, but from my experiences with chrome rims, they bend easily when you hit potholes and shit. I done smacked everything y'all could think of with this car, and I have not bent run rims. The only rim that got messed up, let me show y'all real quick, was if y'all remember, I bought, I got this, I got this rim brand new. Who? That was on the skateboard? Where? Yeah, yeah, let me get up out of here, man. This motherfucker is crazy. Don't do drugs, kids. Do not do drugs, man. You'll be like that over there. Just give me all the reality. Let's go. I thought that person was walking towards you. Yeah, I even got my, I even <clears throat> took my seatbelt off and opened the door. Trying to... Well, this nigga got a mask on it. Is that a man or a woman? Based on them pants that he got on. I don't fucking know. With all the crazy shit that been going on in Long Beach and shit. Nigga, <laughs> yeah, you come over here. No? Yeah, get out of here. Let's go, y'all. Off to the next spot. See, but security be worried about cars being being in here, just sitting here, and you know, especially me doing what I'm doing with this YouTube shit and everything. I'm saying it's, it's no security. There's no security because usually they come tripping on me, trying to kick me out, and trying to ask me, "Oh, what you doing here?" and all this and that and everything. I'm like, y'all need to worry about these, worried about these uh these drug fiends out here trying to fuck with people. <laughs> anyway, y'all, sorry for the interruption. Let me get back to what I was talking about. All right, back to what I was talking about. My bad about that. My lady was just looking out for me and shit. Yeah, man. If y'all been hearing about the situation in Long Beach with these homeless people, uh, random people getting attacked and stabbed and all that shit, my lady was just looking out for me right now. But these are the risks that I take for you, take to give you guys the best quality uh, videos and content that I could give y'all and everything, man. But if y'all do remember my other rim that I had before this one, the other rim got damaged in South Central because... My lady hit a me. Like I said, in order for these wheels to get messed up or bent or whatever the case may be, you gotta hit a deep pothole. Cause this is not this is not chrome wheels. This is like a different material. This is not your traditional chrome rims. These are like the best wheels to go with. You know what I mean? Alloy wheels, yeah. Alloy aftermarket alloy wheels are the best ones to go with because they don't get messed up so damn easily. Other than curb rash and shit like that, but as far as like if you hit a pothole or whatever, a lot of times this shit don't get damaged. So that's why I, I didn't go with the chrome rims on here. Yep. 
Let's go. Yeah, let's get up out of here. The homeless people are full of full full active right now. <laughs> Hell no, I ain't dealing with that shit. I ain't for shit. What the fuck? Crazy motherfuckers. The freaks come out at night. Freaks come out at night. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. That's why I never went with the chrome rims or whatever. I, and then I'm too old. I, I've grown. I've grown out. I've grown out of the chrome rim stage. You feel me? That shit was back when I was younger. Remember all the chrome rims I had and shit? Mm -hmm. On the cars and everything. You remember how them shits would bend easily? Huh? Yeah. Remember how that shit would bend easily and shit? Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I don't do chrome rims, y'all. Like I said, I do the material, like the material that I got on this car and everything. Hell yeah. But then once again, y'all, this is the risk that I take coming outside to give you guys the best quality videos I could give y'all, man. For real. Now the security want to be over here. No, no, now they want to come over here and shit. Look at that. Now security want to come over here. Yeah, worry about these homeless people. I'm not even doing nothing. But anyway, one more thing I want to talk to you guys about before I end this video, man. We gonna talk some shit real quick, man. I gotta get this off my chest. <clears throat> oh, damn it, I'm trying to position this camera. We're on uncut, y'all. That's what I go through. Anyway, oh, I can't even see my face. Hold on. Anyway, um, let's talk about this YouTube shit, man. Unfortunately, with me, you guys, y'all saw how my subscriber count went from fuck. I had like what four thousand subscribers. Mm -hmm. I had my subscriber count went from four thousand subscribers to uh close to twenty thousand subscribers. I'm currently at seventeen thousand and some and two seventeen thousand two hundred and some change or whatever. Uh, once again, um, I'm three thousand subscribers away from well less than three thousand subscribers away from uh twenty k. So make sure y'all run that up and uh, let's get to that twenty thousand subscriber mark, y'all. For real, I may turn up. I may do a live. I may do like an open panel uh, live stream at twenty thousand subscribers, y'all. So make sure y'all tap in, subscribe, and all that. I got lucky. I'm gonna be real with all y'all. I got lucky. That's how the way I'm looking at this shit. I've got lucky. The YouTube algorithm right now, you guys, is so crazy. Um, if you're gonna start a channel, I'm gonna keep it real with all y'all right now. Have like at least, at least, I'm saying at least five videos in the vault ready to upload ready to drop and hop on hop on that dumb dump that short video clip stuff them 60 second videos those right there do help too as well if y'all notice if y'all notice since i've went viral with those four videos if y'all notice see my worth ethic has always been there y'all know me already videos every day at least five short video clips per day and if y'all notice i've been boosting it up shit a video per day 10 short video clips per day now uh y'all gonna be seeing this video friday so thursday i dropped two videos in one day two regular videos in one day right along with over 10 short video clips yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. if i ain't mistaken you know what, man? You can make fun of me all you want, man. See, this is what I go through. Y'all be getting clowned doing these videos, but hell, y'all love it anyway. But besides that, um, put the work in. That's all I got to say. If, if you currently got a channel right now, or if you're about to start a channel, put that work in. Because, uh, because, uh, the problem is today with this social media shit, nobody wants to put that work in. Nobody wants to create their own brand. Nobody wants to make their own play. Instead, what people are doing right now, Instead, what people are doing right now is leeching off of a uh, leeching off of an individual, you know, when that's the wrong way to go. From my experiences and from how I came up on here, you know, yeah. Neil Dazod gave me my Neil Dazod gave me my first couple hundred subscribers back in 28 into 2018, going into 2019. He gave me my first couple hundred subscribers. And after that, you guys, let's go to my day one subscribers. Y'all saw me take that shit and i ran with it and i be put and i've been putting in work on here ever since then so 
point is I'm trying to say is if you're going to come on to this YouTube stuff, build your own foundation, create your own plate, and don't leech off nobody. Don't come on here trying to cloud chase. Don't come on here looking for drama. Stay in your lane and do your own thing on here. Don't go to don't do don't do the wrong things on here because if you do the wrong things on here, I'm telling you this right now from my experiences, your channel will not grow and it will not get to the expectations that you probably have for your YouTube platform. So, just a little heads up to everybody that's watching this right now. Uh, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, I said what I said about CJ on 32s. I'm not I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that individual. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I spoke my piece on that. I said the truth and you know, I spilled the beans on those those uh on those uh on those raffle giveaways or whatever the hell that shit is. Hey, I started it and uh you know, I ain't mad at nobody else taking that uh taking that topic and running with it. It is what it is. You know, but 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 besides all that, I've been making my own plate on here, you guys, and I love doing this YouTube shit. It makes me happy, it keeps me occupied, it keeps me out of trouble. Um, met a lot of good people through this YouTube stuff. Um, met a lot of snakes through this YouTube stuff. You know what I'm saying? So just a little heads up to everybody coming on here. If you're gonna do this YouTube shit, just be aware, man. Not everybody is who they say they are. And I was speaking from my experiences. I'm not going to say no names or nothing like that. You know? So, other than that, y'all, I'm going to get up out of here, man. Y'all have a great rest of y'all night. If y'all watching this at nighttime or during the day. And uh, thank you guys once again. Uh, we on our road to 20,000 subscribers. I'm beyond grateful, thankful, blessed, very humble. If y'all remember before, I never used to agree with, with that humble word or, or whatever. But I had to go back and do some research on that word of you know the definition of being humble or whatever and um having the subscribers and the ratings that i have now is a very is a very crazy feeling and uh, i can admit to you guys right now that this experience humbled me very much so once again thank you guys and i'll catch you guys on the next video y'all deuces man the grind don't stop y'all we working over here we putting in work over here and like I said before, once again, if you're going to start a YouTube platform, put that work in. Put that work in. Trust me. I had a, I had a, I had a, I had a, I had a regular job before. I had a regular nine to five before, before I decided to just to take my own with the stuff that I'm doing right now. I had a nine to five before y'all and I was fucking still putting in work. My day one subscribers could vouch for this one. I was still putting in work. Never made one excuse. I'll probably be tired as hell. I probably be, remember I probably be dog tired as hell and I'll still be doing my thing. Come on, man. I never make no excuses. I've never, you know, I got kids, I got a lady, I got family, I got all. Man, my life is just like you guys, man. But I don't make one thing about me is that I don't make excuses. I don't cry about it. I don't complain about it. It's just I get to it and I make it do what it do and uh figure it out and I put that work in. Stay dedicated, stay consistent like I've been doing, man, for real. So, once again, I'm out of here. Thank you guys, man. We on that road to 20,000 subscribers, man. We less than 3,000 subscribers away. So, make sure y'all tap in and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications, all notifications. And uh, like, share, comment. Uh, like, share, comment, all that. Down below in the description, man. Social media pages. And if y'all want to send me stuff or monetary funds, feel free to do so, y'all. I'm up out of here. I'm about to get out this damn parking lot, man. Crazy out here right now. Stay dangerous.